All right, welcome, welcome to episode 131, 131 of my FX Buddies, the podcast. And I say podcast because there's other mediums to uh, watch, listen to this content. So let me just go over that real quick like I always do. So, um, the Spotify is really, wow, I was watching, (laughs) for those of you who don't know, I watch Bloomberg like all day, but, um, they had a really good earnings and really good, um, subscription level so they are really pressing in to get more subscribers and you know like i said they're really trying to get people to do video content so anyway so yes i am on spotify my fx buddies and like i said they have video and audio um rumble.com my fx buddies there's video there um the blog is my fx buddies.blogspot.com and let's see apple podcasts you know wherever wherever do an internet search for my fx buddies and wherever um i am it will come up and then of course rss.com has audio but also i think most people go there to get the transcript um because i know it's hard to follow me especially if english is your second language but also um someone i know i saw someone put in the comments i do speak very slowly because i know that it's hard for people to understand me so if you watch why well, know youtube rumble a lot of the video sites they have where you can speed up the video so it number one i like it because it cuts down time (laughs) but then also it's um you know it's you can listen and follow better so yeah so i have no problem with you speeding up most people seem to like one and a half times so yeah all right so all right so let's get into it it's been three days it's been a very very busy days um in iraq but mostly on the 10th wait oh yeah on the 10th it was mostly meetings in other countries sadani went to riyadh they were having some kind of arab summit thing there and he spoke there uh the president latif Rashid, and then he has two other names I can never remember. He was, he's at the COP26 or whatever it is. That's that climate um, thing, climate uh, conference, I guess. He's there. Well, he may be back now, but so representatives from Iraq are like all over the place. <laughs> um, and so they were just meeting about Gulf issues and really praising Iraq, um, you know, saying they're the pillar, as I'm going to show you if we have time. The, um, there's a new phrase that I'm noticing throughout the articles, pillar of the Middle East. Uh, one article calls them the pillar of the Emir- Emiratis. So Iraq is really rising back to their pivotal place and other countries are looking to them to uh, bring the whole area together, the region, as they call it. And it's amazing that with everything going on around Iraq, you know, um, kablooies and military aspect, that they're staying out of it. So that's really, you know, what makes them look um very powerful powerful mediators all right so let's get into it so uh, even though i'm going to go back i wanted to um start here with um imf praises positive developments in iraq in financial and banking aspects 
Now, if you've been here for a while, I'd say seven years. You know, when we used to see these kind of articles, <laughs> we used to get super excited, right? Denial would be like, oh, the IMF is telling them to get it done. It's going to happen. But now it's like, eh, you know, but it, it is still good to see. Um, so like I was saying, there's the president and he is, this is on the sidelines of that, um, COP29. Wow, I was off. So this lady here is the new IMF head. And he's in there talking. And it says the IMF praised on Wednesday the positive developments witnessed by Iraq in financial and banking aspects. And we know, I mean, because Egypt is coming to them for help and technology, and Jordan is going to them for help in advancing in technology and banking. So it really is um they are the foot the foot some kind of gate, not floodgate, but some kind of gate to connecting the Middle East and the EU, you know, all this stuff. So that is the really good article. Um during the meeting his Excellency, the President of the Republic, stressed Iraq's endeavor to implement integrated programs and plans to stimulate the economy and support the financial and banking reform process. That's my phone. This guy. <sighs> All right. Now, here's another good article. Financial inclusion and banking restructuring. I'm not sure who this guy is. But uh, he's been writing more, and they've been um, highlighting him, I guess, in in different websites. I haven't seen him. Well, I, did, I, I don't look for him on TV, but I don't. Maybe I will to see if he's being interviewed on the talk shows, too. All right, but anyway, so the current government's interest in the banking sector has come has become striking to the point that it can be said the government is actually undertaking the financial inclusion program whose founders aim to deliver services to all regions of the country and include all societal and age groups with these services with the aim of encouraging all citizens to open bank accounts and then withdraw the cash mesh cash mass hoarded by the public which the central bank estimates at about 70 percent of the issued cash and circulated in the banking arena activities with the aim of raising credit rates and contributing to creating real development real development but so see their aim as they've said their aim is what do they call it uh i call it brainwashing but they have other names for it. But yeah, so they're really trying to get the people to open up accounts, bring in your money that you have in your house. And so here's another guy. But this number here, this 70%, some people say it's 80%. He's saying 70%, you know, who knows. But I know they want more and more. So it's really good. That's a really good positive article. And you see it says all, you know, again, Sadani made that decree. He wants all the banks in all the country to be on the same level. And then they are giving like junior high students um, the ATM cards, debit cards, whatever. But very, I think they can only be spent on certain things. Then also, they are considering letting high school students get pre- paid ATM cards so they really are including all ages all societal aspects so that is good I think for us as well all right and so um yesterday they had announced that S Sadani would go to Kurdistan and he did go and he did a lot and it is an official visit they rolled out the red carpet for him. He went to Erbil. He went to Sulaymaniyah. Uh, he may have gone to one other place. 
some of the photos are were confusing to me. But he met with everybody you can think of. He met with the son Barzani, nephew Barzani, daddy Barzani. Then when he was in Sulaymaniyah, he met with the two Talibanis. So hopefully they got a lot done, more than just take pictures. But um, here's a bullet point, because I know some people don't like all the details. They just like the bullet points. Here's all the meetings he had. And this was one day. All right. So there's that. And then down later in the blog, I have the actual articles that um, talk about the details, which I know some people are going to want to read. I don't. I know they need to work on regional issues. They need to work on the budget. They need to work on getting the salaries. The salary information needs to be sent on time and correctly to Baghdad. And then Baghdad needs to send the money to pay the salaries to Kurdistan in a timely manner and correctly, right? They're having issues with that. Then oil, there's issues with oil, the HCL, all of that. And they did talk about that. They talked about that in Herbal and Sulaymaniyah. Okay, so there's a nice little summary for you, but if you want to read the details, I do have them um, on here at the blog for free. You don't even have to put in an email. <laughs> All right, so here they had an article about the private banks have increased their capital by 7.3%. Really? Seven point, they couldn't just round it 7.5%, but anyway, so... That's good, because I, I think they're getting, well, they're trying to strengthen the banks. They're getting ready to do more loans. And, um, yeah, so it's good that they are. And now the those banks are on line, in line with the proper way to transfer money. So they are being given more, mm, I'm going to say responsibilities, but the government is more willing now to uh, tell the public it's okay to visit them because before they were corrupt and they knew it the government knew the people who bank with and run those private banks were corrupt they knew that and it's been addressed so now they'll be more you know have more of the modern functions until they get caught. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. All right. So these are articles from yesterday. Okay. So if you listen to me somewhere else, I'm going to talk about this article here, but I'm not going to talk about it the other place you listen to me. So please don't come on that other place and go, hey, you read that article where it says Iraq is concerned about Trump. Um, okay, <laughs> this is here, right? And there's things I can talk about here that, um, for peace on that other platform, I don't, until things calm down and people aren't so triggered by Trump's name, I won't be, um, oh, I apologize. I had this guy talking. I won't be mentioning those articles like this there okay but so and then keep in mind there's always people who are positive always people who are negative right but this so this article and you might want to read it because it could it could be a problem right um so here we go concerns over trump's policies on the iraqi economy does baghdad have a plan to protect the dinar so see so they do have concerns Central Bank Advisor gives reassurance. Basically, what they say is, you know, we dealt with him before and he went by the plan then. They hope it'll be the same uh, this time. That's basically what it says. But then it does raise concerns, especially because he's probably going to clamp down on Iran. Although there's some very... Um, Positive articles 
coming out of Iran too, where they're saying, you know, they they want to work with Washington going forward. But you know, talk talk talk, right? So yeah, so if you wanna uh, read that, you can. There's precautionary measures. So I'm imagining there'll be with their plans, they'll be planning what if the U.S is cooperative what if the u.s is not cooperative right <laughs> so yeah and this is um here they say will the dollar rise again to two thousand dinars they think that the citizens will be um not fearful skeptical i think is the word and they'll go back to buying dollars again i don't i personally don't see that happening because it's harder for them to function with the dollar now, especially with the cards. So I don't know, but this person is, um, and actually he's quoting the um, aggressive conflicts. If you can, if you're looking at this and you can see the names here, these three country names here. Yeah. So here's Trump's upcoming policies but has he really given any policies out so so people ask me what do i think i well so there's still time there's you know, I always have a two percent possibility of iraq changing the value the last part of december because that's when they devalued they devalued like december 19th of 2020 i think it was maybe 2021 whatever but because their budget their fiscal year is the calendar year if you're going to make a change like your currency rate and your currency why not do it at the very end of this year right especially when people are, are on vacation because new year's new year's in iraq is really big um, they celebrate hugely. Okay, I know that's not a word, but so they're off work. Um, they usually have bought whatever they're going to buy for the holidays. So it's really a good time to do that. Okay, if it doesn't happen this year during that time, then I would say I would look out to like June because I do think Trump would probably get in there maybe look at uh contracts prices see if they favor us the best he may want to try to make some amendments but i don't think he would want this to linger on long because a i think having that money will help right and you know how he likes to brag about all the good things he's done and then you know the rumor is he holds a large amount of dinar, so why would he want to hold it off, right? He'd want to exchange. That's my thoughts, so that's just my thoughts. I don't know anything. I don't have any insider, no boots on the ground, no connections. I'm just going by the study that I do, okay? And being realistic and trying not to uh people need to live your life you need to figure out how you're going to pay your bills you need to take care of your health um because we don't know we don't know what 2025 is going to be a rough year anyway like all the uh all the people that i listen to the financial people i listen to because it's a year of transition it's going to be tough so be prepared be prepared to be able to manage your lifestyle or even increase their so the stock markets are record breaking uh bitcoin now i i i forgot about doge i got out of doge but bitcoin is like record breaking and you could just put some money there and you know get um make some profit there you know but don't just sit and just wait for this to happen. Life goes on. Okay, so, all right, so there you go. Now, let's see, so that was, oh, look. 
these hashtags have been coming up well whatever all right um let's see so there's about the budget and how they need economic stability and i still think a lot of the people are complaining about the budget because act technically per the constitution they should have the budget by now but we know someone in parliament or perhaps even the economic committee maybe they're even the ones who manipulated the budget scandals for 2024 so i believe sandani is tr trying to keep a tight grip on the 2025 budget scandals and so that's why they're complaining about not having it but it is a concern with oil you know oil could dip down to 50 dollars. some people are saying but and that's why I remember Aliyah Locke said, mm, maybe we should look at oil at $40 per barrel, right? So they have plans. They, they, they know how to look for the future, you know, look to the future. All right, let's see. Here, this. I think this is really good, really positive. Unprecedented. Iraq prepares to launch a group of investments worth a quarter of a trillion dollars. Not dinars, but dollars, and rather quickly over the next two years. You see that? And this is one, this is one group of um, investments. So I was really happy to see this. Um, so yes, yeah, so you could read that. Okay, so here's here's one of the articles with the details about the visit to Kurdistan. And what they were going to talk about um this article okay so this is kind of a weird article the title is central bank of iraq announces progress in dollar control procedures so when i first read this i thought it was an old article that they just put out because they do that sometimes they'll put out an old article but um then I did see it on a couple of other websites. So I thought, well, maybe uh, Aaliyah Locke wanted this out because remember, there's that group that want to question him because he's over um, the retirement age, right? And then, you know, the rate hasn't changed, but it's not entirely his fault. But so this is good. He, he talks about how they've been working with the Treasury and everything he's been doing. Um, they're up to standards and according to new standards and methods, the, the foreign transfer operations, right? Now here again, he says they're up to 95% progress, but I think it's more than that. But I mean, they can't say 100% because then it's like, okay, well, if you're at 100%, why you still have the auction? Why you still have the parallel market, right? So, uh, yeah. So then there's a little bit of history. Yeah, so it's a good article here they talk about how we're not budging america's not budging if the banks are not doing you know running on the new platform then we're not we're not playing with them and that's what it says there so that's a good article to read also here is um netanyahu this is is this the one let's see Okay, here he's saying he doesn't want war. So this is like a message to the people of the world, right? And he's he's like, I don't want war with Iran, but mm, right. <laughs> so if you want to read this, just to get this is two days old. This article here is two days old, and it talks about is this the one? One of these articles says he's had three phone calls with Trump. And I'm like, who's telling, who's telling the media how many phone calls they're having? <laughs> but maybe because they're, well, he's a former, Trump's a former head of state. And, but Netanyahu's the current one. Maybe they have to report when they talk or something. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, so he came out and said, you know, that, and of course, in proclaiming he doesn't want war, he still finds ways to backhandedly insult Iran. And then, okay, 
So that's that's that. There's another one, and I may not have posted it, but um, Netanyahu made a post to the people of Iran, the citizens of Iran, and they said, we're not against you. It's your regime. And then he goes on to say, and your government is more scared of you than they are of us. I mean, trying to like incite maybe an uprising like really <laughs> uh, well because you know there's um i'm not sure a lot of people don't follow israel and why would you right but um they already have some uprisings they're unhappy with netanyahu um they've been demonstrating well prior to all of these kablooies getting through they had been in the streets uprising because they want Netanyahu to step down. They, he fired this guy, Yohav Golan, I think is how you say his name. He fired him. The people didn't like that, so they were out on the streets protesting that. So there's, that's Israel, right? So, um, I'm not sure if I said it wrong. Sorry. I'm trying not to confuse you. But, so, now you have, you know, people are rising against you, and now you want to go to another country and try to stir up their people? Very interesting, right? Okay, so this is a good article. Gold Reserves Boost Confidence in National Currency. This, see here, the pillar of the Emirati. So even though this article, it's talking about central banks, how they are pumping up their reserves with gold. So it's kind of like a citizen education article is what I call these. But if you don't know a lot about economy, and especially since we are really in a time of change, well, they're trying to be, they're trying to be, you know, trying to move away from the dollar, move away from American hegemony, um, it really is a good time to learn about, especially what other countries are doing. But this mainly focuses on the central banks of the world, what they're doing. And it, and it has stuff about Iraq in there too. All right. So here this, I'm always talking about how it's not just the rate that has to change. There's laws that need to be passed as well. Thousands of them are suspended. Draft laws challenge the remainder of the life of the current parliament so you may want to read this maybe not but it's just a lot of times i say things and people just think i just say them but i have reasons for saying them <laughs> so here he is he explains we have thousands of laws that are not legislated or need to be amended or canceled so yeah you could read that okay so these are from today and i see we're at 28 minutes so basically i'll just go over the titles so here this is the one that i call the son barzani okay so we met with him and sudani and barzani confirmed resumption of kurdistan oil exports so that's big if it happens all right um this is the one that I call Nephew Barzani, and they met, and they talked about the Kurds' wishes. But this one, if you're going to read an article, read this one. The oil and gas file is the most important file of the visit because it must be resolved. In addition to the necessity of resolving the salaries file and not keeping them in this monthly form as they are delayed, and there are constant obstacles. So that's good. That's that's a good article. And let's see. Here, this is the one I was talking about that's positive for Iran. Arakchi. I'm not sure how to say that. But communication channels between Iran and America always exist. All right. Um, let's see. Requesting Iraqi mediation, U.S. delegation arrives in Baghdad to follow up on the hotline with Tehran. What hotline? 
So see, this is probably not going to be talked about on the news that you want. <laughs> but so they're trying to make peace, get some things arranged. It's pretty lengthy, but that was a good article. Um, here, this is really good. In fact, I almost made this the the uh, headline of the blog. Private Banks Association Iraq to Adopt Advanced Trade Finance System by End of 2024. Now, I could care less what this system is. What I like is here's another thing starting at the end of 2024. So you really should read this. It talks about they had some kind of platform to do something. Work on the foreign trade financing platform began at the beginning of 2023 and is witness, witnessing significant development. But at the end of this year, they are starting a whole new one. So I like that. And then here's another Trade Bank of Iraq opening. This is at an oil company's headquarters. So they didn't waste no time starting to open these new banks, huh? All right. Um, this is just an interesting article about some of the, the banks that have, san you know, not sanctions, sanctions on them. They get to deal in dinar, but they're not going to let them participate on the platform that the Kurdish region's employees get their salaries on. And why would they want that? Because they make money. Somehow, these banks get paid. Maybe it's a small percentage or something, but I'm sure it's to their benefit to be on that platform. But so part of punishing them, I guess, is by not letting them be on that, that platform. And then here's another. Okay, this is Daddy Barzani. Tell me that first one doesn't look just like him, just younger. And look, he's not even ahead. He is just, a, he's just the head of a party. He's not the prime minister. He's not the president. But every leader goes through him. He's the one that really wants the country. And then look at the title here. Secret political visits. The Democrats, not our Democrats. There, they have a Democratic Party of Kurdistan region. They prepared a visit to Lumania after meeting Sadani. So Sadani must have told them, hey, y'all need to get your stuff together, get your government together. And um, so shortly after them leaving, after him leaving, they're like, okay, we have to meet as one and do whatever right this also has another pretty powerful article minister of commerce the government has developed a roadmap for developing the national economy so and that's what we want if they get their national economy together then they can just make their way into the global economy so I, and this is the best sentence in my opinion and then i think we'll wrap this up um, these reforms represent a reform revolution that the Iraqi people may not notice at the present time, but it will soon become clear to citizens, businessmen, and project owners. Woohoo! Well, you know, the word soon is there, but I do like that. All right, so um, there's another article about the Kurds. Oh, here's another article about gold. So see, there was really a lot. A lot came out today. Here's another article about oil exports and the Kurds. Uh, so, you know, I just, for time's sake, I don't have time to go over them. And then this is interesting, too. They're going to make a consultant to recalculate the amount of crude produced in Kurdistan. Because that is the federal, you know, Baghdad doesn't believe Kurdistan's numbers. So I guess they're going to bring in someone they both sides trust to calculate the numbers. All right. So, yeah, I think that's it. All right. So this is really, you know, I tell you guys, you should really try to read these articles, especially if it's stuff that you care about. A lot of people want to learn about the oil and all of that. So, yeah.
all right thank you for listening i hope this helps um what do i always say accumulate while we wait to for the rate to appreciate don't miss any mails and pay on your bills and um thank you again um, new subscribers thank you wherever you're listening if there's a join follow support not support join subscribe um button because i don't record regularly so if you do that and all things work like they're supposed to when i do post you'll be updated and you can read it all right enjoy the rest of your morning night noon whatever time frame you're enjoying this content and until next time